What's going on YouTube? Been a long time. We have this incredible video that I actually want to go through. I want to go through, it's like a 10 year old video of me doing a speed run. And we're going to break down one of my warpless runs, the 5154. Yeah, 5154. It's the same run that was slightly featured in one of Summoning Salts for his history. So we're actually going to watch through that whole run and we'll see how it... <laughs> There's going to be things that I think is going to be like amazing, but it's probably going to be so bad. I mean, the world record right now for early hammer is a 50-30, and for non-early hammer, it's a 50-49. Um, so, and this run was an early hammer, so we're going to see how I dealt with the early hammer, the pressure, what kind of strats, is there any new strategies? I'm actually really excited to do this, so um, let's jump right in, man. Let's do it right now. This is it, guys. This is the video. So... I mean, look at me right there. Look at that glare. I'm right into it. So this is on the original NES. You can tell. You can tell by kind of how crusty it is a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's just go back to the beginning. Luckily, the highlight starts nice and fresh. And uh, yeah. All right. So we're going to listen to it muted so that you guys can hear everything I'm talking about. As you can see on the left side, I have um, an old version of Live Split. And you can see I don't even have pictures and icons. 4,250 attempts with these new splits. And as you can see, 1-1, one, one, it's the exact same. So even after whatever, 9, 5, 6, 10 years, the exact same. It, it's, it's incredible how much it's the same. Movement of 1 with the Hammer Brother, not bad. Everything's fine. I got a very bad head headset, so I don't even want to use that audio. And if I turn and look... I'm talking to my cat who's actually on the couch and I'm actually in my bedroom. Very nice one, two, the exact same. No turn back. That's something that I didn't establish until way later. I started relying um, only on the first card to give me the right card. Two movements of one, that's pretty good. Right on. Go for the early P-Speed. So had you guys would never notice, but this is this is exactly how any other run that I do right now to this day, this is exactly how it goes. And then this is incredible. It's the exact same. All right. So this was before I had a massive, massive amount of chat interaction for me to talk talk through hours and hours on my streams, like even right now in my streams. And this. This gave me a much more ability to really concentrate a lot more, and just like that, we get the tunnel, guys. If you, if there's anyone in YouTube who has the that special emo from Twitch, I want you guys to spam it in in the comments section below. Get that MFP tunnel, baby. Right on, playing with my fingers. This was when I was a smoker, so you'll most likely see me light up a cigarette in World Four Airship. That's my guess. All right, everything's looking good. Yeah. Okay, this is different. Jumping from the green block, I don't do that anymore. That's one thing that has changed over the years. And I also don't do a duck jump there. Any, anytime you duck jump, you run the risk of losing frames by slowing down by pressing down. So I don't duck jump anywhere that's unnecessary. So this world gave me all movements of one, except for two, I'm pretty sure. And boom, just like that, I should be able to get the fire flower. As you can see, of course, I'm still barely paying attention. And then that's it. So I just, which, which you guys would never see, is I spent that entire world not really talking to chat or, or anyone else. I just was talking to my cat. And yeah, th again, like I said, this was way before I was a full-time streamer or anything. I think I still worked in, in a kitchen at this time, one or two kitchens. Pretty much on the airship. Not much going on here. So we're actually going to fast forward the airship here. Because nobody wants to watch airship. Nice. We get to... Past cutscene, fire kill. Uh, my my understanding of fire kills back then, I I have to give myself the benefit of the doubt that I understood the fire kills, or else I wouldn't have comfortably been able to go for that fire kill. But we're gonna find out and see how World Two fire kill went. If I got if I got the early hammer, which I do, and I got scared out of doing the fire kill, then I'd have to say that my fire kill was not not even close to as comfortable as it is now. There's, there's no way in World 2 right now that me and a whole bunch of runners, we, there's no reason we wouldn't go for the fire kill. So we'll see how this goes. Oop, fast forward a little bit too much. All right. Going on to World 2. So far, this run looks no different than what you'd see in a world record, except I bumped at the start of that world. You can see, actually, if I rewind it, 
I, uh, I actually shake my head. If you watch my webcam, you can see I mispressed my direction. Yeah, and then I shake my head in, in, in sadness. All right, 2-1. 2-1 is slightly different right now as I created a bit of lag there. Um, the way I do 2-1 now is actually thanks to the early hammer manipulation. I learned how to create no lag in this level. So there's a couple frames saved now. You have the fire flower. That's pretty good. I'm not going to have to do any, uh, any turnbacks. Alright, moving to two, that's very common. This is, ah, the old days. So this is intentional. I do not do this anymore. I intentionally take damage so that I can do do two two P speed because I had thought for a very long time that taking damage there and the, the P speed in that level saved so much time that I didn't need Fire Flower on the boom boom. And it turns out that they're actually very, very close. You could still get away with that strategy. You can still get away with that strategy in this run. And world record, you, you still totally could. Alright, so we do get the good early P-Speed, the very complicated um, P-Speed build at the start, and then you get it right before that second Dry Bones. That's really good. And then I intentionally take damage here because I'm pretty sure that I'm just bent on doing early hammer manipulation. And... Or not early hammer manipulation, sorry. This is the old school early hammer where I just die for it a bunch of times. But the, the interesting thing is that messing up that spike room is obviously going to change when I end the end the level, right? Whatever frame I end the level, the hammer brothers move in. So I got to move into two, so I think I die here. No, 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 I go for it. Okay, so I get the music box. I figured, I, I guess I'm in that level anyways. I mean, this is kind of new to me. I do not remember this run. All right, so I go and look at the hammer brother. That's a very interesting play. But because I fought the Hammer Brother there, I don't have to screen scroll again. I can watch him, right? So we get to... This is actually really cool because we never get to watch the Hammer Brother actually moving. Right on. So here we go. Is this the two death? And he goes up though, so I have to do the extra screen scroll. That sucks. That is a big time save. A double screen scroll. So three screen scrolls when I only have to do one. But I did get a two death early hammer with the music box and double screen scroll. So, anyone who's ever watched my early hammer videos and speedruns and stuff knows that this actually isn't that good of an early hammer. But this stuff was so new back then that just getting an early hammer was like, dude, I'm gonna shit, right? Like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy the way it, the way it works out. Um, it's, this, this, isn't, uh, this isn't that fast, but it feels and seems like it's fast because it's so new. So, small Mario here, you can see that this strat is underdeveloped. You guys, anyone who's watched me in the past couple years knows that I would actually grab the mushroom. Let me go back here for you guys. Um, normally, what I would do is I would just jump on this beetle right there. I would just jump on this beetle right there. And as I go over the beetle, I would stomp on this beetle and grab the mushroom and then come back and grab the beetle while grabbing the mushroom at the same time. And this allows me to get my fire flower on the airship. I don't have that now, so that is actually a very bad play on my part. Um, and what makes it a bad play is it's an underdeveloped strategy. Obviously, um, I didn't have an Everdrive at the time, so I didn't practice the Pyramid not nearly as much as I could have, obviously. Um, there were new strats still to be found, but of course, we didn't think so. We thought, like, I think what I did there was probably the fastest way through the Pyramid, which is, it's definitely not, because I can't even fire kill now. I can't even get the fire kill on the boss, right? So I grab the mushroom. I have to do this. I, yep, I got to do the stomp kill, right? And then here comes 3-1. And I grab the fire flower in 3-1. 52, 24, I don't think the world, I don't think that was the world record. I think Karua had the world record at a 52, like, 03 right now. Something like that. I don't even grab the the fire flower, so pff, I don't know where I'm grabbing it right now. It, that is very interesting. So this is a what am I thinking? Don't worry, Mitch. You scratch your head in uh, confusion. No, I I understand. This this is still a very old time in terms of practice. So I don't think I go. Yeah, see, no P speed. The P speed in this level was definitely we. I knew about it. I, I might I might not have created it yet, but it wasn't out of the weeds. 
I think because I didn't have Fire Flower, I wouldn't have gone for it. But that is not the best case scenario. That again is still the worst place. It would have been better for me to grab Fire Flower in 3-1, then use the P-Speed in 3-2. So I've, I've already made a ton of mistakes compared to um, what we do now. But in terms of strategies, I mean, obviously I look very comfortable. It's, it's not even what I'm doing in the levels, it's the decisions that I have to make in the levels. So my physical ability, I mean, look, it's, it's just fine, right? But deciding to grab the Fire Flower in 3-2, that's bad. Deciding to stomp kill the boss, that's bad. Deciding not to grab the Mushroom in the Pyramid, that's bad. It, just bad decisions, underdeveloped strategies. Even when you think the game is at its limits, it's not, right? I thought, I saw minus 48 in my World 2 split, and I was like, dude, if I get World Record here, that's it. And that's exactly how I reacted at the end, if you guys have watched uh, Summoning Salt's video. Old strategy. Let me uh, let me go through that just for a quick second um, for, anyone, for anyone who doesn't know what I was trying to do there. So in this room, if you build enough momentum as you move, you can do a quick jump and turn back to give yourself enough time to get the height and jump right up there. And you don't see that anymore because the jump is, it's hard but easy, right? So it's easy to mess up, but it's really not that hard. So we deemed it kind of not worth it. What we do now is we simply just jump onto this stair and then just go in the door. And that's that's kind of what we do. Nothing uh, nothing too crazy. Not, not any kind of like time loss. That is very interesting right there. Oh man, I'm sorry we got to go through this ag again. I'm sure you guys want to know. Um, but fire kills right there. It's bad to jump there. It's good to shoot and then jump because you can see the time difference. Double jump and shot. The boom boom definitely got much higher in his jump before he died where we've actually developed a better, faster way of killing boom booms now. So boom boom kills in this run are most likely all of them are going to be slower than how Boom Boom kills are done now. Um, and I got amazing RNG in this world. I'm pretty sure he he turns left. Ah, uh, he doesn't. So not so good RNG. It would have been pretty good RNG. Um, but it gets even worse if he goes over the water. All right, 4-3. Looking pretty hot. Yep, looks exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. Very beautiful. Nice level. All right, and then it go. So there's another time loss right there, right? The water battle. Uh, not much you can do about it, but another reason why this run seemed amazing, but really not. I've already made more than five bad decisions and a couple, couple bad um, movements. As you saw in the fortress, I messed up the stair jump, and obviously the pyramid could have been faster if I wasn't small Mario. All right, very nice. And much like how you see this, that's that's pretty much exactly how that level goes. Looking really nice. It's really fun to kind of watch these old speedruns. I got the frame jump out of that pipe. That was pretty cool. That's like a one single frame. All right, so here we go. Three, nine. Do I get the H jump? Ooh, that's different. I normally shoot that Koopa now. Normally I, I didn't shoot him before, but I still do the same thing here. And boom, very nice H jump. Right on. I throw that. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because I can shoot them. There you go. And just like that, I'm out of there. Alright, so World 3 was... I don't want to say was a disaster. But getting Fire Flower in 3-2 was not optimal. Getting it in 3-1 was not even optimal either. It was, a, it was a strat that was undiscovered at the time. The pyramid mushroom grab was not discovered. I, I know I started doing it later. And um, because I did early hammer, I was the only person who had small Mario at that time. So I had to learn how to get through the pyramid or what to do in the pyramid to get a mushroom. And that's kind of what I came up with. There could still be something faster in that pyramid when you get early hammer. It's just what I do now and what people do when they get early hammer. Small Mario, just it's just what I came up with. I mean, it could be anything. As you can clearly see, in these videos that not everything everyone comes up with is like the top tier fastest way to do stuff. Even you guys at home who've watched a lot of speedruns can see all these little micro things that that we do in runs now that are faster. All right, let's go into World 4. Now right away in World 4, everyone knows how we do 4-1. Either you grab the turtle shell and bonk with the speed, 
or you do the the patented I'm better than MFP at 4-1 strategy or the even harder I'm I'm on task level MFP strategy which I still haven't incorporated in runs but I have a feeling we're not going to see any of those which is like holy crap because grabbing that turtle shell is like so free um, I'm kind of excited to see so I only lost the second in World 3, so I could have saved so much more time, right? Oh, there it is! Look at how old this strategy is. Okay, nice! And I think that's why I still do that strategy to this day, because it just works, man. It just works. The shell grab. You guys see me do that in runs still today, and I'm pretty happy to see that. I was expecting not to see anything. Just some lazy-ass... No P-Speed. Alright, that's a pretty decent hammer, brother movement. Alright, this is very important. The second turtle shell here, what you want to do is when you bounce off of it, you want to shoot the turtle shell because it's going to despawn the plant. Let's see if I do that. No shot. So I tried... Because we didn't know that shooting that turtle despawned the plant, I tried to do the double block grab, and I failed it, so I fell in the water. Something as easy... As shooting that turtle shell when I bounce off of it will eliminate the stress of the double block grab. And I wouldn't, I'll never fall in that water in that section ever again in my life because you're already bouncing off the turtle shell. So that cost me time right there. And again, that was just me being forced to do something harder when something easier was available. No one's discovered it yet. It has not been discovered. Wow. That is interesting. I like, I like that. That is very cool. Dude, I don't think I've have I responded to chat yet once in the video? I don't even know. I think I'm I'm think I'm concerned with something on the couch like I'm busy. I think I'm looking at my cell phone or something. All right, 4-3. Everyone's favorite. Am I, do I get the point in the points tournament here? I think I do. But there is one 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 change, something that I used to do in this level that Karua never did either. So right here, almost every player will jump and bonk their head on the ceiling right here and then they'll come down and double bounce on the two koopas what i used to do here is i used to just side jump off the first one right here like just like that and i don't do that anymore that is completely changed i definitely do not do that anymore it's way safer what i do now with the ceiling bonk way safer way safer so, without having an Everdrive, you're going to see some pretty polished worlds 1 through 4, right? As you can see, I'm on my game, I got my stars, I'm not really messing up strategies, I'm doing what we know. A couple mistakes here and there, not too big. I mean, look at the fortress. Look at that. You, that. you guys still see the fortress exactly like that to this day. And that's still one of the hardest levels. Right? That's still one of the hardest levels. So, I'm, I'm on top of my strategies, ones that I know, but I'm interested to see like 5, 6, and 7, right? Because like... That gets harder to practice those worlds. And I got screwed over by the Hammer Brothers. What a surprise. So I'm forced to fight the Star Bro now. So that's an extra Hammer Brother in this run. I seem... I don't seem like I'm responding all that much. If you watch the camera, I don't see... I'm not getting upset at that. I, I am actually having no response. Ooh, and I don't get P-Speed up here, so... In this world, we've already made a mistake in 4-2. We fell in the water, and we made a mistake in this level, and we fought an extra Hammer Brother. We didn't get P-Speed in 3-2. We got a Water Battle in World 3, and we did a Slow Pyramid, right? So, uh, there's actually a big difference already in this run. A big difference already in this run. Uh, so, Warpless right now on these splits is a 22-17 non-early Hammer. I think Warpless on splits right now is, um... Yeah, I think Warpless right now is like a 20... Is it? Is it 22? No, I'm thinking of 100%. Never mind. I don't remember Warpless. It's so confusing because there's so many cat. There's so many different ways of doing Warpless. Early Hammer, non-Early Hammer. I, I can't remember. I'm in, I'm in the middle of running 100% right now, so it's a little, little confusing. But, as you guys see... This level is the, the exact same as well, looking good. I do a couple extra different bounces there, but I don't I don't bounce on that Koopa anymore. Definitely not. I think I'm reading chat right now, but not saying anything. Because my run's good, so I guess I'm nervous. My heart rate's pretty high. 
Nice. Ah, there's something you guys don't normally see me do anymore. When I go for early P-Speed in this level... Normally, now when I do this level, I jump right up here because this jump is just a little too hard um, to get to get from this position. Jump, go over, then do a perfect jump. When you're here, you can kind of run and it kind of anticipate this spot a bit better. But as you can see, yeah, I jump from there. Nice, and I get the early P-Speed. That was very important for me to get. That's a very tough P-Speed. That's a very tough P-Speed. And as you can see, I don't do the, the most... Sorry, I rewound it. I don't do... The most common thing, unless I do. Yeah, no, I do. I jumped a little high. I definitely didn't have to jump that high, which I don't anymore. And I try to do an old strategy. I try and do a duck jump down in between here, which is actually slower than just jumping into the into the invisible wall. There's an invisible wall that when you touch it, it starts the boss battle as long as your feet are on the ground. So that's actually slower. So that's not the fastest. All right. Going on to world five. No fire kill. So I haven't done a fire kill on World 2 or World 4. Nope, no fire kill on World 2, World 4. And that is a couple second time save. Alright, so uh, I'm minus 28 seconds right now, so I'm on pace for a 51, which was the sought out record. 51 was like, ooh, you're the best in the world, right? And it's like, that was the, that was the goal, 51. Um, so I know I'm on that pace, and I can tell you right now, it took me a very long time to get comfortable with 5-1. The way you see me do 5-1 now, I can tell you right now, is not even going to be anything close to the way you see me do 5-1. I consciously knew that I always lost time on Karua with the way I did 5-1. I don't know what it was about that level, but let's take a look. Right on. No shots. Turn back. Turn back. Yeah, see the double turn back. Hey, that's still way slower compared to what we do, all right? All right, I, th maybe I over was over dramatic about it, but still, still, like we're, we're getting early P speed in that level now, right? So that's that's already a big time difference there. All right, moving to two, not bad. Let's see how this level goes. Oh, pretty much the same. Do we do the sway? Nope. Hey, all of you guys at home know that's not how we do that level anymore. So that's a that's another pretty big change. That's a pretty significant time loss. We do get the slide strat though, right? Um, with the jumps right in there. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. I love it. Nice. No fanfare yet. That's pretty good. No deaths. Only the early hammer deaths, so they don't really count for deaths. Wait, wait, hold on. We didn't confirm. Did I have a cigarette on the airship? No, I didn't. The run was too good. Uh, for anyone wondering, I haven't smoked in over three years now. Cold turkey, three years ago, stop. But, it feels weird to see myself smoking. Um, Alright, so we got another movement of two. We're on the fortress, how do we do that? That jump is not what I do, I normally run off those stairs now. Double turn back. Alright, the duck jump was good there. Alright, that duck jump. What was that jump? A big duck jump? I definitely don't need a duck jump there, so... But hey, we did it! I don't think I really lost much time. Coming into World 5, only movements of 2 so far. Another movement of 2, gonna use a music box. Alright, let's see how we do the Twisty Castle. Duck jump, nice. Nice, big turn back, try to keep P-Speed. I didn't though, but that's okay. Boom, right up in there. Alright. Alright, not bad. Alright, the duck jump. Not bad, another duck jump. That's just for safety, those duck jumps are okay. I know you you want to minimize as many duck jumps in the run as possible, but that's okay. All right, let's see how this room goes, the hardest one. Yeah, I nailed it, that's pretty good. As long as you build your P-Speed back, the room's actually not hard, it's just, it's the toughest room in the Twisty Castle. Nice, get the double shot, boom, let's see how I do the vine. Nice, and then the turn off. That looked very similar to how we do it in runs today, very, very similar. All right, this level. Let's see. Turn back. Jump, slow down. Slow down. Not bad. And I think we go for it. Oh my god, we're crazy. Get that away from me. That is the fastest way to do that, but we... I don't do that anymore because that is not worth it. You literally lose like, what, seven frames or something from the from the spinner? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. 
Wow, and I got really lucky there. I didn't get a movement of four. Ah, oh, my butt. My feet. My feet touched the block. So I didn't get the P-speed there. My feet touched the block. Very nice. Sorry about that, my door is closed. But we are back, right on, level seven. The double shot, the wall rub. We don't do the wall rub anymore. We do like the turn back. The wall rub is definitely slower in that section, definitely slower. All right. So world five is actually looking better than I thought. Um, Five one obviously can be much faster. Five five can be faster. It didn't get P speed there, so those are time losses. I got up pattern here. I already have a music box, so this is a waste of time, right? Another extra hammer. So that's two extra hammer brothers already so far. I'm, I think I'm commenting in the video. I think I'm kind of annoyed with it because I knew I needed to skip it. I got bad RNG, but I'm gonna flow with it anyways. I'm gonna flow with it. Right on. You guys see that big jump off the dry bones? So in my run, I actually relied on that dry bones to give me the boost that I needed. Now I don't do that. Now I avoid the dry bones and, and kind of do the jumps on my own. No, actually, you know what? That boom boom kill does look pretty similar to what I do before. But I don't remember. 5-8, very... I don't, there's no changes this level could make. Unless I don't get P-Speed, which I do. That big jump there is questionable. I was in this phase where if everything that I did was big jumps, then the run would just get easier and easier, which that's kind of true, but not really, right? If every jump in the speed run was a full big jump, you'd probably never mess up your jumps, but not, you can't force areas that don't have big jumps to put a big jump in there. It's not worth it. All right. So I held the direction there instead of moving after equipping the cloud. So I actually lost frames there after I equipped the cloud. You don't want to wait. You want to go on your own. You want to move right after you equip it. So, And I can tell you it's probably not going to be a fire kill here. And I tried. Didn't work. 2837. So I don't know how my time is still good here. A 31, I saved 2.9 seconds. I don't understand how, right? Like what was, I mean, I guess the world record at this time was still in the 52 era. So there was still so much more that we needed to learn. But I mean, I didn't get P speed of 5.5. Five. Um, my 5.1 would have been normal to my other splits. Um, oh, I used the music box, so I didn't get the P wing. So I didn't fight two Hammer Brothers. That's where it is. Okay, that's why I saved time. I only fought one, which is normal for that. But this one was a music box. All right. World 6. Kind of excited to see how this goes. World 6 is rough. Is the, is the despawn strat in this? I don't know. All right. I lost time on that inventory because I went right instead of left. And I got up pattern. So I lost a little bit more time there from bad RNG. But grabbed it pretty nice. Not too bad. All right, I'm very nervous for six port one. That is a very hard level when you first start. I just got a movement of, what, three right there? All right, let's see what I do here. Ah, that is very old. I don't, most of you can say you've probably never seen me do that before, but that was totally a thing. Full big jump there, grab P-Speed again. Wow, look at that P-Speed keep, interesting. That was really cool. I totally forgot that I used to do it like that. I'm sure I did it like that for years. That is way too risky, though. Half of that crap was unnecessary. I don't need to do any of that stuff. All right. This runs... I say at the end of this video that this run is, like, unbeatable. A pre premature music box. Okay? Now, I'm sure a lot of you can tell me why that was a bad idea. Because if I get the right Hammer Brother... Then I should use the music box to make sure that I don't get the wrong one. But I didn't do that. I just put them both to sleep. I might have done it because this allows me to know which Hammer Brother is which. But at this time, none of us knew that the Hammer Brother with a specific item faced a specific direction. We didn't know that. So that... So World 6 for many, many years was just a guess if you got the right bro. Most of the time, it was just guessing. That's how we did it. Alright, that jump. Not normal. No tail swipe. Didn't get it. Okay. This is 
That is the strat. Very cool. Nice. Right in there. That was a good shot. That was a really good level, actually, for not doing the top tier despawn strats. But those were not the strategies then. Definitely not thought of. I don't know. I'm probably bitching about something. So, I don't know that this is the right Hammer Brother, but I picked this one because it's the closest one to the rock, and I got lucky. See, even in the video, I probably said, wow, I just got so lucky, I had no idea. But I am getting movements of two, so I'm losing time, but I don't know that I am. Like, I know movements of two cost time, but that was not the thought. The thought in these speedruns was to get through the levels without making mistakes and don't fight the right pros. Oh, as you can see, we don't do the duck jump, and we damage boost at a different time in that port. It's much different. Much different. Alright, the boom boom stomp. This World 6 has actually surprised me. I, I think I'm a little bit more surprised than I thought. Alright, movement of 1, that's good. Oh, bump on the overworld map. Oh, and I didn't get the frame jump. Well, it's not a frame perfect jump, but... And I finally built P-Speed. Take damage there. Oh, and I almost missed that H-Jump. Holy crap, dude. That was like pixels. But for the most part, I've done every level pretty well. Pretty well. Like, top tier. Nice P-Wing. Very nice. Oh, very nice. P-Speed right into the ledge there. Did the double fly? We're right in there. Very nice. Sometimes, sometimes even today, I don't do this level as fast. So, you gotta respect it when you see it. Alright, do I, do I jump at the start? No, I don't. Okay, that's very old. Nice, the side hit. Good, good. Side hit's good. Uh, no, I don't go for it. I, I don't know if I knew of the floor clip or not. I don't think we knew about the floor clip just yet. I'm not... It's so hard to tell, right? Because naturally, nobody would care to go for it in their runs at this point in time. Because again, our focus was so much more on getting through the levels without messing up. So let's see. Do I even go for the meme clip here? I don't even think I do. No, I don't. I don't even go for it. Alright, go for the stomp kill. And definitely no subpixel manipulations here. If you think you're seeing subpixel manipulations, you got the wrong video. We're not seeing it. 35.57. Wow, I saved 2.4 seconds. Wow. I could have saved so much more time. I could have saved so much more time. The despawn strategy, not messing up 5.8. Um, the, the ice fortress could have been faster. Um, I could have got P-Speed in 6.4. And I could have done 6 Fort 1 faster, and my inventory could have been faster, and I bumped on the overworld map. I probably could have saved another 7 seconds there. And I don't even know if I know that I could have saved that much yet. I know I could do levels better. I know I messed up 6 8, obviously. Alright, so how did 7 1 go? Obviously, the duck strats. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, what the, ten. I'm happy I got it. What? I'm happy, what is that? I'm happy I got it. Look at my own fanfare there. Yes, I just spent 20 seconds on it. I cannot believe that. That's actually, <laughs> yeah, I just lost over 20 seconds right there. This could have been a 51-30 had I gotten that first try. All right, let's see how 7-2 goes. Let's see how 7-2 goes. All right, use the star, good inventory. I can't get over that. I was... 7-1 was so hard back then that we were just happy if we got it. <laughs> That's how the runs went. Nice. Pretty thick turn backs. Could have done that a little crisper, but all in all, not too bad. I thought I'd made it with the pre-premature duck there. Not quite, though. Alright. 
What, what do we call this item abuse island? Let's see how it goes. I think I am down a P-Wing. No, no, I grabbed the P-Wing in World 4. That's right. That's right. Nice, 7-3. As you can see, I'm concentrating very hard in this level. But, yeah, this level's not too bad. So pointless. If I lost frames from that duck input, I should have. That I deserve to lose those frames. There's no point. There's no point in doing it. All right, gonna cloud. Yeah. See, I hold. I hold the direction after I use the item. That's the time loss. Every time I use an item and do that, I'm losing time. So double P wing here. Yep. Let's see if I do the run jump jump. Nope. That's a little bit slower than doing the run jump jump jump. Not, not too much slower though. Not enough where it's like, you better change up what you're doing right now. And then we fly up and drop down on it. Yep. That's the strat. That's the strat. Alright. Nice. Very good. Very good. Alright, so World 7 is actually pretty comfortable right i am nailing most of the strategies 7-1 i lost like 20 seconds but i guess that's a whatever i have early hammer right so i'm i'm like high on early hammer fumes or some crap all right do i get hammer suit here i don't even know yeah i grabbed the other star i don't think i actually get hammer suit that is really good i i'm doing That's actually pretty sick. That wasn't very good, but that was sick. None of that is what you want to do in this level. None of it. There you go. I do that, so now I can do this and wait. Jump over the ghost and then grab the star. That's how things work these days, man. All right, need the star, get P-Speed. So if I die here, If I die here, that the run's over because I already clouded. And then I run, do the duck jump, or the duck. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm out of this world. If I save time on this split, holy crap, I could have been so much further ahead. If that 7-1 worked and I still got no hands, this run would definitely have been ahead of its time. But that 7-1, man, that cost way too much time. And it looks like I might save time here. Nope, I lost time. But only... Four seconds? Only four seconds? I don't know. Alright. So we got auto-scrollers. You guys know how it, how it goes. Wait, did, I didn't get Rangless. Alright. So now I'm just... Oh my god, if I get no hands, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. Look at me, I'm even shaking my head. I'm like, there's no way I get no hands. Not early hammer. I do the bump strat and I get no hands. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous right now. But auto scrollers, we don't care about, right? They're fun, but they're not fun. All right, 8 1. I cannot remember how this goes. Pretty casual, duck jump. I don't go for early P speed. Too scary at the time. That strat was underdeveloped. But I do get this was the very normal P speed to get in this level. Very normal. That's, that's exactly how I wanted that to go. Now, I was already in any percent no wrong warp runner, so I do know how to do 8-2 with Fire Flower. So I should be able to hold my own here. I do the jump. I have no idea why I jumped there. No idea why. Alright, I don't know why. That's such... Why would I jump there? That's so, big turn back? Yes, see? I knew how to get myself through it. Look at that. Very nice, dude. That's... Dude! 7-1, man. If I had gotten 7-1, I would be minus a minute right now. Pretty close to. If 7-1 had worked. Alright, use my star and there we go. Do I get the H jump though? I do. Wow, man, it's gotta be like the best record now. Conveyor P-Speed? Ah, I don't get it though, so that was a time waste. Nice. Through the doors. One, one cycle was always free for speedrunners. It was never a... 
Eh, it was never too difficult. There you go. Just like that. Got auto scrollers. Not a whole lot. I'm definitely nervous, man. I'm not even focusing on anything other than the game. I keep looking down at the couch. I, I think it's my phone or something. And I had a Blackberry back then. I think it was a Blackberry. That's right. I was a Blackberry. Let me know in the comments below what phone you guys had 10 years ago. All right, that's castle looking good. Definitely not going to go for the clips. No point. Nice, got good stairs. Do I pull a Karua? Ooh, I didn't. I thought I was going to. Do I get... Yeah, I'll get throne room piece speed. Very long... Oh, but the side jump. And I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, come on. What a time loss there. I'm so scared. All right, we got it, though. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, I think I got it. I think I got it. 51.54, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. This uh, was so crazy, man. And I was just, I was just doing runs, man. I was just doing runs in my room. Right on, guys. Well, that's it. I mean, we, uh, there was definitely room for improvements, and that run was far, far from optimized. I mean, there's strategies we do now that weren't even thought of at the time yet. So that's really cool. It's really cool to take a look back at the past and see how I played, even how I looked on the webcam is pretty interesting to kind of kind of look at and uh, you can see yourself how strategies and how the run has changed but at the same time you can see like I was still playing very well for its time right and I had to grow with the game into how we play it now I really hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure you guys what is it hit the bells and hit the likes so you know my I don't even know guys do whatever you want YouTube's awesome just just as long as you enjoy yourself so take it easy guys have a good night Peace.